what are the top five teams in Madden 18? Well, if you watch this video, we're going to figure it out and we're going to talk about it live. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel and let you know that if this is your first time, we're so happy to have you. And if you like what you see at the end of the video, be sure to hit a subscribe button. That way you'll be notified whenever we have content going live uh, and something that can potentially help you get better as a Madden player. All right, so let's get into this. So I wanted to do a video to talk about the top five teams in the game for Madden 18. I wanted to kind of give you my top five list and, and let you know kind of my thoughts and what I'm seeing. So number five on our list is the at the Seattle Seahawks. And the reason the Seahawks are number five is because I think the Seahawks are slowly fading into the background. Um, they're not as good as they were probably three years ago, but they're still a very valuable team. They still have a lot they can do. But they're just not they're they're just kind of hanging on by a thread. Um, they have a great secondary as we already know, but what they don't have anymore is they just they're becoming slowly more an offensive team than a defensive team. And in my opinion, they are going to they are going to drift out of the top five by the end of the season. So, um, but the team that I think is going to solidify themselves as one of the best teams in Madden is actually our number four team on our list, and that is the Oakland Raiders. In my opinion, the Oakland Raiders are one of the biggest upgraded teams this offseason. Just from the sheer bottom line, that they're going to have Marshawn Lynch as their running back. And the reason is because Marshawn Lynch is not just a running back. He is a personality that is going to bring a lot of a lot of um, aggressive energy and fit in really well with the culture uh, that David or that uh, that uh, Derek Carr has built with the Oakland Raiders. So I'm really really excited. I think their quarterback play is going to be solid. They have Amari Cooper. Their defense is freaking fast. You've got speed. You've got athletes all over the field. They are going to be one of the best teams for Madden by far. And the only reason they're not higher on this list is because I'm waiting to see how Marshawn Lynch performs. If Marshawn Lynch performs as good as he did uh, for the Seattle Seahawks over the long haul, the Raiders will be the top in, in the top three for uh, best teams in Madden 18, in my opinion. Uh, let me know what you think about that prediction, but I really am excited to see. I think the Raiders are a team that's really going to going to make a lot of noise this season, uh, not just in Madden, but I think in real life too. I think they will be a, a wild card team to kind of look at. I'm um, not as a, not as a wild card, but just something a division a, a leading team, but someone to really make a push for the Super Bowl. The third team on our list is the Atlanta Falcons. And the reason I put the Atlanta Falcons on the list is because their offense is very, very good. I personally think it is their offense, the Green Bay Packers offense, and maybe the Dallas Cowboys offense have the most explosive weapons in the game. The difference for Green Bay is that Green Bay ultimately will have a better quarterback than the Falcons, but the Falcons have more weapons and so it comes down to what do you want and I actually think for Madden purposes the Falcons will be a better offense than the Green Bay Packers simply because of the fact that their receivers are um, taller and can make more big plays down the field than the Packers the Packers are more of like slot receivers you know that that do really good route running really really solid schematics so and again it does also go back to you know, what are you, what exactly are you looking for? Are you looking for big targets? Are you looking for a uh, short game? You know, what, what is the, what is the thing that you're going to be defined by? And you need to figure that out by watching some of our offensive videos. Uh, and you could check that out at the channel, but I think the Falcons are phenomenal with the running back tandem. Their defense is going to slowly improve. I think you'll continue to see improvement. We've seen improvement every season uh, with the Falcons. I think they have a first class organization at this point. They're going to compete for Super Bowls. They are going to be a really, really solid organization uh, within the next five years because of their head coach. Their head coach and general manager are very, very good at what they do, and they, they're setting the Falcons up for a lot of success down the road. So just kind of keep an eye on the Falcons and see where they're at in a couple years. I'm telling you right now, you will be surprised. Uh, you will be surprised at what happens. The second team on our list, uh, and I debated – it's, it's really tight for number one. Um, there, there's some really, really good teams. 
but I had to put this team on the list at number two, and that's the that's the New England Patriots, and and really the sole reason that they are the number two team is because is because two well I guess it's twofold. The first is that Tom Brady is not a, is does not have mobility, and that does pose itself as a problem when you're considering uh, when you're considering the team for Madden. When you're playing Madden, you want to have a quarterback that has about 75 speed at the minimum, and Tom Brady I already know will not have that side. Of that size of speed so that's why they come in at number two and then the second reason is their defense is not really known we don't know how good their defense is going to be I would assume it's going to be good just because Belichick does good every year but we just don't really know their offense is going to be really effective though the weapons they're going to bring to the table with the receiving core and Gronk and all this and the stable um, the stable of running backs that they have um, it's going to be phenomenal but uh, anyways, guys, the interesting interesting thing to see for the Patriots will be how their defense plays. If their defense plays up to the level of their past Super Bowl victories, there's no question in my mind that they are a favorite to repeat uh, just because their offense will be that much better with someone like Brandon Cooks running the show at the receiving core. Having a, having a true deep threat like that, they haven't had that since Randy Moss was on their team. Uh, and, and we've seen what Brady has done with Randy Moss. So, again, I'm not saying this team is going to be as good as that team, but I would truly believe that this Patriots team is going to be one of the better Patriots teams ever put together, and they are certainly, in my book, the favorites to repeat uh, for the Super Bowl championship. The number one team on our list, and it's again, this is this is because we optimized the list for Madden. OK, not real life, but I still think they're going to be really solid in real life. The number one team in Madden 18 will be the Dallas Cowboys. And and the reason is, is pretty simple. They are loaded with talent at every single position. Um, and you and no one really is talking about how loaded their defense is going to be. Um, and that's because partially the defense is somewhat unknown. Um, we don't know how well they'll play out if the defense does what I think it will do. Um, then you will see a, uh, a world, world class defense because of the stable of people they drafted. All of these players, they, they have just so many athletes on their team right now. I mean, they have cornerbacks. They, I mean, linebacker, the linebacking core is going to be unreal now that with Jalen Smith coming to the table. They, they are really set up for a, a long term success, and we don't even have to talk about their offense. They have the best running game. Um, in the game by far was Ezekiel Elliott and the offensive line and also having Dak Prescott and then uh, Darren McFadden and the different backs that they have at their at their disposal. But more importantly, what they have done over the last couple of years is they have developed a lot of good young players at receiver and tight end. So they don't just have Jason Witten, but they have Gavin Escobar, they have Greg Swam, and they have uh, I think they have another tight end, too, who are all six, five, six, six tall and they can catch in traffic. So. That makes them a really effective option for Madden. They have a, a stable of running backs. Whatever kind of running back you want, they have some type of player. The The one thing I was a little upset with with their offseason was the fact that they got rid of Lucky Whitehead. I think Lucky Whitehead added a lot of value to the Cowboys, but with the removal of him, it, it, it does diminish their value somewhat, but, but, but all the adjustments they made on the defensive side of the ball makes up for it tenfold. Um, they have so many good so many many good prospects and in Madden Madden normally gives the rookies a lot of leeway leeway for the first year and so what will happen what what is likely to happen is they will probably overrate the the rookies so that you'll play with them and I'm a, I am I'm planning on um, that making a big difference because what will happen is um, the, the rookies will either, you know, hopefully they'll play good and they'll get upgrades. Um, and normally when a rookie gets upgrades, it, it, it's big time upgrades. It's not just little because they want you to play with the rookies just because they're new players and it's funner to play with new players. OK, but anyways, I think the Dallas Cowboys are just set up to run the table this year. Uh, they have all the talent in the world. The question is going to be, especially in the real NFL, are they going to be able to translate talent into results because um, talent is just potential that hasn't actually happened yet you know it's it's just it's it's nothing it's meaningless but i do believe in madden it is meaningful 
um, for Madden, you know, if you have great prospects, the game will rank you. And because they're young and they're athletes, they're going to get very, very good physical ratings um, once the game comes out. So the problem with the Packers, in my opinion, is that they – it's not that they're not athletes because they are. They're professional athletes. But the, the problem is that Madden, they're not, they're not like John Ross or, uh, you know, people like that who – who legitimately there could be an argument made that they might as well play in track. I mean, they, they might as well run track for a living because these guys are just straight athletes. And I think that's what will happen with the Dallas Cowboys. Their ratings will skyrocket. Um, and I, I truly believe they're going to be one of the better teams in the game, if not the best. That's why I have them at number one. They are my number one team for Madden 18. I couldn't be more excited about it as a Cowboys fan. Uh, it's really exciting right now to get geared up for the season. So, Really excited to see what happens, but let me know what are your top five. What are, what are some sleeper teams that maybe you you know you didn't plan on? I don't know why that guy was on an in route and I threw that interception there. He was supposed to be on a corner route. I think I called the wrong play. But anyways, guys, let me know your feedback. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what are your favorite teams in Madden 18. What are the teams that you're going to try out? And then what are the teams that when all the stakes are on the line, you're going to go with? Thanks for watching this video. And like I said in the beginning, if you like this video, subscribe to it. And if you have already subscribed, then step up, be a leader, and share the video with your friends. That way we can grow the channel and I can keep making